So he tweaked it yesterday pretty good and mm -hmm. um, went through treatment through the afternoon yesterday and felt a little bit better and came out and warmed up and felt like he could play. But once I think when he got into a game speed right away, he felt it. So it was, uh, I think it was the wise decision for him to not risk any further injury to it. But I, I don't think it's anything serious at this point. Got it. Good. Um, just, and, and then overall, I mean, looking at summer league as a whole, I, I mean, what were your takeaways over this last week? I know it, you know, it was kind of a rocky start with you guys, but just when you look back at it, you know, what was, you know, what are some things you take away? What did you like from your group? You know, what are some things that you think uh, still needs improvement, I guess, for some guys? Well, this was a good group. I mean, they came out, they worked hard. They really tried to um, execute what we were working on. They showed up every day. They worked hard. They had a good focus. Um, you know, and I think if, if you were going to use one word, and I've probably said it maybe after every game, is this is a resilient group, you know, for a, a group of guys that have come together because we, you know, the guys that we started training camp with, you know, a lot of those guys weren't here on the final day just because of the different things that happened and different protocols. So, um, you know, going through a quarantine and then coming right out and playing that day after being in quarantine for two days, uh, you know, some of those things. So they were resilient. Even today, all the way to the end, we got down and came charging back at the end and really, really had a good finish and got to see some guys do some good things at the end. And that's what it's about. You know, at the end of the day, we want to feel like we had a chance to grow and get better. And we wanted all of the, the players individually to help advance their careers and be better players when they walk away from this experience. What was this experience like for you, um, you know, kind of leading this group of guys? You, you mentioned, you know, how highly you thought of those guys. But for you, what, you know, what did you gain from this? Well, I think, I, I think we gain every time we have a chance to work with the team and every chance we go through practices and video and, and, uh, and the games, obviously, we learn things and we take things from it. Um, I think it was a, a great opportunity for our staff to be together and actually work together on the court and, you know, establish – you know, the language and the terminology and all of the things that we want to do. I think it was very valuable time for our staff. Um, and, and I want to ask about Corey Kispert specifically. Um, you know, he obviously didn't have a great shooting day today. Um, not as good as yesterday, but, but overall, what, you know, what did you make of his game? You know, kind of what he brought to you guys, um, you know, what stood out to you, I guess, about how he presented himself so far over summer league. I thought he handled himself really well. I thought he showed a, showed a high level of maturity I thought he showed a very good understanding of how to play. I thought he saw different defenses and, um, you know, uh, different reads that he had to make. I thought he did a really good job. But I think just for him, I think that really helps accelerate his development as an NBA player. And, and, you know, not just for Corey, but for some of these guys specifically, I know you mentioned just kind of the feel of things here, but what if, I mean, I know it's just four games, but can that really impact players as they kind of move along, they try to develop, they just get their feet wet in the NBA game? I think it can. I, I think, you know, we saw a year ago when we didn't have summer league and, right. and where our young guys were when they came in. I mean, these guys are coming into the league younger and younger and such a great opportunity to have a chance to play these games. I mean, you know, there are, the rules are different. The, the schemes are different. So I think to be able to go through and have a short training camp, a couple of practices in between, a couple of walkthroughs, a couple of video sessions, I think it, it absolutely, you know, accelerates, um, you know, the development process. So, I mean, how was it for you? What did you take away? What, you know, what are you going to look back at and kind of remember about this whole, you know, week or so? Yeah, um, I think it was, it was a great week for us. Uh, I think that everybody on our team learned a lot, especially me, myself. Um, coming in, you know, I just wanted to to be a sponge and absorb everything I could. Um, and, you know, I think I got I got a lot out of it. Uh, I think the coaching staff did a good job at teaching us. Um, you know, they're a new staff as well. We're new players coming in the NBA. I'm a young guy. We had a lot of young guys. Just being able to try to mesh us together, I think the coaching staff did a good job. You mentioned kind of being a sponge and taking as many things as you can. You know, where do you think you specifically grew the most? Yeah, I think on the defensive end. Um, I think for me, that was one of my keys coming in but then just learning how to play it um, at the next level. I only played 15 games in the G League bubble last year, so being able to come out here and showcase that I feel like I can guard multiple positions, um, you know, I really accepted that challenge.
So I, I know, um, you know, we're in mid-August right now. So what do the next couple of weeks look like for you? Um, how do you get ready for the season? What's just the next step for you here? Yeah, for me, I'm um, going to sit down and just continue to work out. Uh, I'm going to go home for a little bit, for about two, three days, and then get right back up into it, um, get back into the gym, make sure my cardio is right, and get ready for our training camp. And how much can you lean on this experience moving forward? I know you mentioned just being a sponge, improving on defense and things like that. But, you know, when you get to, you know, when you get to the fall, what I, I guess the development that you grew in the last week, you know, how much is that going to help you over the next, you know, however many months and oh, years, I guess? Yeah, I think it's gonna help me a lot. You know, this is my first summer league. I was in the draft class where we did, we weren't able to have a summer league. So me just being able to come, it was fun for me. It was a great experience. Um, and I think I can, I can build on this and take the confidence that I have now into the next, you know, couple months.